Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com with a real quick video today about when should you test your blood sugar. So just an overview of what I'm going to cover in this short video. This is general information, not specific. You need to always talk to your doctor before um, for specific guidance on when you should test your blood sugar and changes you should make to your medications. Generally, this video is geared at people watching for pre-diabetes and for type 2 diabetics. So typically, when do we want to test our blood sugar? The meaning, the results are most meaningful if we test to uh, uh, fasting. So first thing in the morning, most folks, kind of gives, gives you an idea how your body handled blood sugar overnight. And then two hours after eating, that also tells us how well your body is at processing that blood sugar. Other situations could include if you're sick, if you've made, if you're making dietary changes or exercising more. Oftentimes, you may want to test more. If you medication changes, um, oftentimes, if you've changed your therapy a little bit, you may monitor a little bit more after each meal or before each meal to see the effect that medicine is having. And of course, insulin. Insulin is a situation where you would typically check a lot more. That is very specific situation so your doctor can give you guidance on when you should test for your insulin. Again, I'm just kind of focusing on pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetics. But what is the, what are the meaning what are the what are the meaning of the results? What do the levels tell you when you test your blood sugar? Well, typically it's considered normal if your fasting reading is between 70 and 100 or 2 hours after eating below 140. That's milligram per deciliter. That's how we typically measure blood sugar in the U.S. Millimolar per liter is the other unit of measure, and it's listed below here. So fasting 3.8 to 5.6, or two hours after eating less than 7.8. You would tip, be considered in the pre-diabetic category. Now remember, one reading does not diagnose anything, nor do a, would I encourage you to diagnose on your own. If you have some results, you take them into your doctor, you can talk about them, see if they can identify what's going on. But typically, pre-diabetes is considered uh, 100 to 125 fasting, so that would be typically when you wake up first thing in the morning, and two hours after eating anywhere between 140 and less than 200. And a type 2 diabetic is generally, they're going to have a fasting reading of 126 or greater and 200 after eating. Now, ideally, once you get on medications and make some dietary and lifestyle changes, those numbers would go down. And your doctor can help determine your goals if you are diagnosed as a type 2 diabetic. I hope this short little video kind of gave you um, some information on when to test for meaningful results, when to test so you can actually, your doctor and you can interpret those results. Of course, always talk to your doctor or your primary care provider with any questions about when to test, the meaning of your results, and so forth. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these, and please ask questions in the comments below.